Okay, let's move on to some examples in calculating voltage. Like I said, some of these we may have seen before, but let's go ahead and hit them again. So in this case, how much voltage is needed to produce a 5 amp current? Okay, we saw this before. Again, pull out your, net, your notebook and work through these so that you understand how to use the metrics and the uh, exponentials in solving for this. Again, we're looking at voltage equals current times resistance. Here we have 12 amps being pushed through a 100 ohm resistor and we end up with 1200 ohms of voltage. Okay, here's our problem again, looking at making a measurement across the 56 ohm resistor when we have 5 milliamps of current being pushed through the circuit. Okay, so again, we look at our metrics and try to determine what's the quickest way to solve it, how can I cancel out, or how can I use the metrics or the exponentials to solve for the unknowns. A 33 ohm resistor, one and a half milliamps. Okay, one and a half milliamps. Again, we only have the one exponential uh, in the current relationship, so that we end up with a value of 49.5 millivolts of source voltage. Okay, again, these are all the ones that we've seen before. Work through them again until you make sure that you understand how to use these metrics, how to use these exponentials, and use them in your answers to make the math a lot easier. Suppose there's a current of 3.2 microamps through a 47 ohm resistor. Again, this is like we've got a meter connected across the resistor, and we're measuring what this voltage would be um, if we did not have to do the math. In this case, we're going to do the math. So 3.2 times 10 to the minus 6, 47 ohms resistance, we get 150 microvolts. We can convert that to millivolts, 0 0.150 millivolts. Okay, we're just using the power of those exponents and metrics. What's the voltage here? 10 milliamps being pumped through a 3.3 K ohm resistor, 33 volts. 25 milliamps pumped to a 3.3 K ohm resistor. Again, we've got 10 to the minus third, 10 to the third. They cancel. It leaves us 82 and a half volts. Okay, so when we come back, we'll take a look at the resistance calculations. Uh, notice we're going to use resistance equals V over I.